For today's poem, I want you to imagine that you're in an orchard. Do you know what an orchard is? In an orchard, we'd be surrounded by trees lined up in neat rows. We might be walking on some grass and there might be bees buzzing and butterflies fluttering by. And there'd be big, delicious fruit hanging from the tree branches. Let's say they're apples. They're ready for us to pick them. Well, most of them. That one's way too high. This is the perfect time to recite the poem, Little Red Apple. Do it along with me. We'll do it slowly the first time. A little red apple hung high in a tree. I looked up at it and it looked down at me. Come down, please, I called. And what do you suppose? That little red apple dropped right on my nose. Well, that's one way to get the apple down. <laughs> Let's recite the poem again a little more quickly this time. A little red apple hung high in a tree. I looked up at it and it looked down at me. Come down, please, I called. And what do you suppose? That little red apple dropped right on my nose. Do you think we can do it even faster than that? I do, let's try it. Ready? A little red apple hung high in a tree. I looked up at it and it looked down at me. Come down please, I called. And what do you suppose? That little red apple dropped right on my nose. What do you think we can make with these apples? Applesauce? Apple juice? Apple pie? Mm. I'm going to start working on that now. See you later. Find out why over a million parents have used goodandbeautifulbooklist.com to find clean, appropriate books. Check out the free book list now and dive into the world of good and beautiful literature.